Hey guys, I'm doing a giveaway on my YouTube channel. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Breakers of Shadow Booster Box, which is first edition. So to enter, just click that subscribe button, and that's it. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is bomb, people? It is your boy, Blank Page, coming at you with another video. And what you guys are going to watch today is my grand module that urges that deck profile. So hopefully you guys do enjoy. Go ahead and smash me. And if you guys are new to my channel, subscribe. Down below for me, you can book up on content. I try to upload daily, so hopefully you guys are down for that shit. Alright, so this is just more or less a banished deck that revolves around Grand Maju to Urza, or any other card that can banish either your cards to the banished zone, or your opponent's cards to the banished zone. So that could also mean Pot of Cupidity, which is a new spell card that banishes the top 10 cards of your deck, and you get two cards out of it. So it is a very, very cool card. And to go in combo with it is Soul Absorption. You can rack up so many life points. It is insane. And uh, while just doing that, you are also powering up your Grand Module to Urza even more. So this is a very, very cool combo that I really, really like. And then uh, we also have cards that can banish things like Dimensional Prison. We have uh, Banisher of the Radiance down here. Banisher of the Light down there as well. And uh, in case... Banishing cards and stuff doesn't work. Uh, I also have a secondary plan that revolves around Perform Up Hell Life Swordsman. Alright, so this card's effect reads, when your opponent gains a life points, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to the amount of life points your opponent gained. Alright, so the what we're going to try to do is gain or get your opponent to have a lot of life points so that you can basically one-shot them with this card. So, what can you do to try and, you know, get this guy to have high attack? Well, you can feed him life points. There's Gift Card, uh, you know, there's cards like Ancient Leaf, there's Yujo Friendship, which can go in great combination with Soul Absorption and Pot of Cupidity. So, what I have is that, let's say uh, you are gaining a bunch of life points, and let's say you want to uh, also chain... You draw friendship to that and, you know, also give your opponent that many life points. Well, let's say both you and your opponent have, like, around 30,000 life points. Uh, this card's attack, well, it could be 30,000. So, yeah, that, that's, that's my plan. Just in case Grand Maju, the Urza doesn't work, we, ha we have this. So, yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll be fun. Alright, so, now I'm just going to go over the deck profile itself. First, I'm going to do the main deck, then the extra deck, and then the side deck, and then that'll basically be it for the video. So, starting off, I'm playing three Grand Maju de Urza, two Necroface, three Cyber Valley, and two Tuning Gum. That is it for all the monsters in the main deck. If you guys just want to pop uh, Perform a Pal Life Swordsman into the main deck, or Banisher of the Radiance, or Banisher of the Light into the main deck, you guys can easily do so. For spell cards, I'm playing 3 Soul Absorption, 3 Pot of Cupidity, 3 Upstart Goblin. Oh yeah, this card could also just give your opponent life points as well, so this could help with Performing Pal Life Swordsman, so uh, keep that in mind as well. I'm also playing 2 Dark Hole, 1 Gold Sarcophagus, 3 Soul Release, 3 Pot of Duality, 1 Day of Peace, so it's like, you know, one copy of it, but its name kind of... You, you get it. All right. And then for trap cards, I'm also playing one bottomless trap hole, three dimensional prison. I guess I didn't mean to put this trap card down here. So, you know, just ignore what I just did right there. I'm also playing three card of demise. And then I'm also playing one macro cosmos and three scrap iron scarecrow. And that is it for the main deck, guys. Ten monsters, 22 spells, and eight traps. For extra deck cards, I'm playing three Formula Synchron because we have uh, five level ones. If you guys want to pop in a third tuning gun, that's pretty all right by me. So, you know, we'd have like a lot of level ones in our deck that to make this card. So, you know, might, might as well play Formula Synchron. I'm also playing uh, two Dark Diviner, two Armades, Keeper of Boundaries, Two Ally of Justice Cataster, one Goyo Chaser, and two Goyo Guardian. And that is it for the Synchros. For Xyz, there is one Lionheart and two Wind Up Zen Mains. And that is it for the extra deck guys. Uh, three Xyz and 12 Synchros. 
For side deck cards, there is Swords of Revealing Light. You guys can just pop this easily into the main deck if you guys want, or multiple copies of it. It is a very, very cool card. I really love it. It's one of my more favorite uh, spell cards, and uh, it's been around forever as well. So uh, it's here just in case you guys want to run it. There is Ancient Leaf. There is Unity, which will automatically make your opponent uh, shake your hands so that you guys can both have the same life points to help out with Performa Pal Life Swordsman. So, uh, you know, just keep that in mind. That's why Unity is here, as well as Yujo Friendship. Uh, I'm also playing a Performa Pal Life Swordsman. If you guys want to play three copies of this and put it into your main deck, you guys can easily do so. Uh, there's Gift Card. There's uh, two and the band played on. It is a very, very cool card. It says that neither player can special summon monsters with the same level as those they control. So let's say your opponent has a level four deck like most decks usually have. Uh, they can't really special summon any more monsters with that level. And as you guys can see, all of our monsters here are pretty, you know, distinguishable upon levels. I mean, we have level one, level four, level three, and then, you know, but these cards can't really be special summoned either, so, uh, you know, jokes on them, this won't affect us. So, uh, this is a good card. If you guys want to pop it into the main deck, you guys can easily do so. There is Banisher of the Radiance, uh, Banisher of the Light, and then there's also Soul of Fire. This card can, I don't know, I'm hoping that if you already have a bunch of cards in your your Banish Zone, and you banish your Grand Maju to Urza, it'll just destroy them you know that that's my that's my theory of it um you know i haven't tested it out yet i should have tested it out before this deck profile but I, you guys can probably test it out yourself it'll probably be overpowered if it does work um but i'm not too sure uh certain it can either work or it could just not work at all so uh you know test it out for me uh so uh yeah that is it for this deck profile guys hopefully you guys did enjoy and hopefully you guys have a lot of fun with this deck I hope that it wins you a lot of duels like it has for me lately. And yeah, that is it for this deck profile, guys. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Take care. Adios.